Damen und Herren, mein Name ist Alex Vogel und das ist der GSG MP40. Das ist ein Ersatzmaschinenpistol. Das ist ein Einzelfeuer oder Semi-Automatic-Pistol. Howdy folks, this is the GSG MP40 9mm pistol. actually go into the chamber so all you got to do is drop the magazine kick the uh, spent casing out and let it slam home you already have a round in there and bring the magazine back in and it's good to go all right let's try this again at about 60 yards I've been seeing for the most part. Stove pipe it in there, but there is another round in the chamber. Let's see it's grabbed onto. Hopefully that's good to go.
Alright, takedown and cleaning of the GSG MP40 9mm pistol. I found the um, user's guide and owner's manual a little bit unclear and didn't have really good pictures on how to take this apart, so I went and looked up the German version of the takedown instructions and translated it from there. Starting off, make sure you have a clear weapon. There is nothing in the chamber here. No ammunition present in the magazine as well. According to the manual, I want you to drop the bolt and drop the hammer. However, I find that on a flat surface it's easier to start off at least with a cocked weapon just so it lies flatter. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take, take down the cross pin. That is this pin right here with a little collet around it. Drift it out from this side on the other side of the uh, magazine release lever. You're going to need some sort of tool with that. I've been using a Swiss Army knife. You will want to cover this with your hand or something else because they have a propensity to fly away. And the first time I tried it, this thing landed under my TV and I was fortunate to be able to find it again. It's a very, very small piece. Set it aside for later because you will need that. The owner's manual recommends using a punch to drift out the pin. It is not uh, easily taken out. An HK style pin would actually probably be a good idea here. I don't know if they can do that with the diameter, but having a spring and retainer in there would be a good idea. Once you get it all the way across, you may or may not be able to pull it out manually. It's still pretty tight. Grab a tool again. Hook on there. There we go. And use a little elbow press to get on there. Once you're uh, clear, the gun will break in half, front to back. The lower will come off and the upper will come apart. You want this uh, bolt down and hammer release though, so Definitely, that's where that comes into play. Separate the top and the bottom of the weapon. So it's useful to have several sets of hands. The lower will come across. You can set that aside for later. You have the recoil spring, or the buffer or buffer catch, the actual spring. And then the bolt will come out. Bring it all the way to the back of the stop. You can take the charging handle out from there, set that aside, drop your charging handle, and you are field stripped. Cleaning, there's a couple of points in here. There is a ejector bar that you can reach inside, as well as all the surface area inside the upper receiver. Hit that with a toothbrush or a rag or whatever you've got handy. The front, near where it actually fires, gets the dirtiest. Back end of the receiver generally stays pretty clean. There's a little bit of dust here and there, but nothing too major. You can get in there with a toothbrush or whatever you've got handy. It's not a whole lot of buildup. I've only got two or three hundred rounds through here so far, so definitely not too dirty. I am using Frog Lube because it works for me. I have not had issues even running in the cold. Run matches in a 17 below starting off in the morning and that's with a AR-10, AR-15, Fal, G3, pistols, the whole works. I have not run into issues. If you don't like it, don't use it. You're more than welcome to use a regular gun oil, CLP, whatever you've got floating around. Uh, liberal Tears if you want to, or rim oil or whatever you've got. I use a very light coat, wipe most of it back off again. Same goes for the bolt and bolt face. Uh, you should wipe down the bottom where it gets the dirtiest, the front of the bolt face, where most of the blowback is going to come through. Get into some of the nooks and crannies in here, and around the, ex the ejector and the track for the extractor. This is a essentially 
a newly designed 9mm blowback pistol that happens to outwardly resemble a World War II German MP40. It doesn't, it's not interchangeable with any of the original parts as far as I know. The stock might fit on here, but other than that, everything else is new manufactured by GSG. It's got a free floated firing pin and a hammer to make it a closed bolt system, which is legal here in the United States. Come back through and really lightly lube the wear points along the rails and the front of the breech face where you're going to get most of the carbon and build up on there. Spring, you can wipe it down if you'd like to, it's not really necessary to go through. Charging handle again, just a quick once over. The uh, buffer, retainer pin, retainer plate, I don't know what the correct term is for this piece. Part that the main recoil operating spring seats into. On your lower, you get your hammer, wipe that down, you actually cock it and wipe it down. You've got a very long trigger bar that comes through here connecting from the firing mechanism all the way forward to the hammer. Uh, when you squeeze that first, so that much is take up and then release on the hammer, fires the weapon, release the trigger and the bolt will cock the hammer for you. Putting this thing back together is pretty much just reverse order. Snake the bore real quick. Almost forgot to do that. You can use a jig or you can use whatever you've got floating around. I prefer a bore snake because it's easy and it packs away real well. This is actually a 30 cal bore snake. I do not know where my 9mm is, but it's close enough. It's not going to be a 45, it's not going to be a 223, so it'll get most of the uh, crud and grime out of there. And it's 9mm, so you're not worried about too much stuff floating through here, unless you're using particularly dirty reloads or somehow black powder 9mm. So, no, it should be an issue for you. Run that through a couple of times. And placing this back together is essentially the reverse order of how you took it apart. Got a little lube on here to keep it running smoothly. There's a couple of rails on here you can insert your bolt back onto. Make sure you get everything lined up. Slide it forward. There is a circular hole in the back of the, uh, the spring guide where your charging handle will slide back into. And slide forward or lock open. For our purposes, we want it all the way forward. Direct your recoil spring inside. Do not launch it. Launching it is bad in this case. Here is where we need an extra set of hands generally. Once you get everything lined up, it needs to be under here, but it's under pressure, so grab hold of it and hold it in place. Grab your lower, line everything up. Slide your upper end to the point where it actually mates and slide it forward. You're going to notice you're going to come with a little bit of a gap in here. You're going to have to slide that all the way forward and it takes a little bit of pressure in order to get everything locked in place. Once it's in, take your cross pin, set it, drive that straight back through. Make sure all the way forward. Drive the last little way with a punch. Set those back aside, flip it over. Got your retaining pin, which is always unfair to find. Slide that in place. Snap it in. Functions check. Draw the rear. Everything seems to be working fine. Squeeze your trigger, fire, cycle, re-engage, and fire. Lock it back open. Magazine is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to take the floor plate off or anything like that. Just uh, wipe down the feed lips, grab brush and hit the follower. That's where most of the crud and gunk seems to accumulate anyways. These are proprietary magazines. They will not fit into anything else that I have found so far. I tried it out at my local gun shop with a Sten magazine and a Mac 10 magazine. 
uh, whatever else the uh, owner had floating around from his class three and NFA collection, but nothing quite fit in here. So once got it clean, you are good to go. Thanks for watching.